Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to our school channel. Today we are going to study science. Standard 6, chapter number 9, motion and types of motion. Before we begin on with motion and types of motion, let us study what is motion. In our day-to-day -day life, we see many moving objects. Moving objects are said to be in motion. For example, while waiting for a bus at a bus stop, other vehicles appear to be in a state of motion. The trees are seen to be running backward while you travel in a train. If an object is seen by an observer to change its place continuously, the object is said to be in motion. The change of a place of an object is called displacement. An object in motion continuously undergoes displacement. Now, let us study the types of motion. There are two types of motion. Number one, linear motion. Under linear motion, we are going to study uniform linear motion and non-uniform linear motion. Number two, non-linear motion. Under non-linear motion, we are going to study oscillatory motion, circular motion, periodic motion, and random motion. Now let us study the types of motion in detail. The first type of motion that is linear motion. What is linear motion? An object in linear motion shows the displacement along a straight line. A train or a moving vehicle on a road may travel in a straight line or in the same direction. This motion of an object is called linear motion. An object in linear motion shows the displacement along a straight line. Now, let us watch the video for linear motion. The car in linear motion shows the displacement along a straight line. Under linear motion, we are going to study Uniform linear motion and non-uniform linear motion. What is uniform linear motion? For example, the motion of a marching soldiers in a parade is same. During that period, not even slight difference is seen. The motion of the marching soldiers is uniform linear motion because the motion shows no change. What is non-uniform linear motion? The motion of a girl coming down from the slide does not appear to be uniform. The girl comes down faster and faster. The speed of her motion goes on increasing continuously. The motion of a girl coming down from the slide is non-uniform linear motion. These are the two main types of linear motion. Now, let us study the difference between uniform linear motion and non-uniform linear motion. In uniform linear motion, when the distance transversed by an object is along a straight line in unit time, is continuously the same. This motion is called uniform linear motion. When the distance transversed by an object along a straight line in unit time keeps on changing, the motion is called non-uniform linear motion. Let us watch the video for uniform linear motion and non-uniform linear motion. Non-uniform linear motion. The car at point A reaches to the car at point B. When the distance transversed by the car is along the straight line in unit time, the distance transverse along a straight line keeps on changing. The car changes its position with time to reach from point A to point B. Now let us watch the video for uniform linear motion. When the distance transverse by the car along the straight line in unit time is the same the motion is called uniform linear motion.
let us study the second type of motion that is non-linear motion the motion of an object that does not move in a straight line is called non-linear motion for example merry-go-round giant wheel motion of the birds flying in the sky under non-linear motion we are going to study oscillatory motion the motion of the object swinging back and forth that is oscillating is called oscillatory motion for example the movement of a pendulum of a clock the wings of the birds the needle of a sewing machine the vibrating diaphragm of a tabla or a drum is an examples of oscillatory motion the swing always comes back back from one end to the another it takes about same time for each swing or oscillation this movement of a swing is called oscillatory motion the second type of motion and non linear motion is the circular motion what is circular motion the motion of an object along a circular path is called circulatory motion now let us watch the video for the circulatory motion the satellite moving around the earth if the stone is tied with a string the motion of the stone along a circular path is called circular motion another example is of a fan the motion of a fan along the circular path is also the circular motion now let us look at periodic motion the motion of the object which passes through a certain point again and again after a fixed period of time is called periodic motion now let us watch the video for periodic motion the movement of the ball which is passes through a certain point again and again after a fixed period of time is called periodic motion another example of periodic motion are minute hand of a clock that completes one round in one hour every every round of a periodic motion is the same period of time both oscillatory motion and circular motion are the types of periodic motion the last type of motion under non linear motion is the random motion the motion that changes its direction and speed continually is called random motion let us watch the video for the random motion random motion have no direction and no sequence of time for example the mo- ball moving randomly the motion of the players in the game of a football is also the type of random motion a butterfly constantly flits from one flower to another is also one type of random motion there is no definite direction to its motion the dust particles moving and its sunlight is also in the form of random motion thank you so much please do like and subscribe